As a veteran of Vietnam, it is my honor to join you to call attention to the story of this year's Joe Hooper honoree. Joe Ronnie Hooper was one of our military's great heroes and a generation full of heroes who have never fully received their due. Like so many brave Americans who served in Vietnam and like Joe Hooper himself, this year's honoree exemplifies courage, honor, and duty. To him and to those Vietnam veterans watching tonight, thank you for your service. A native of Oklahoma, Melvin Morris joined the National Guard in 1959 and soon after the United States Army. He would be among the first soldiers to don the famous Green Beret authorized by President Kennedy to be worn by the Special Forces as a symbol of excellence, a badge of courage, and a mark of distinction in the fight for freedom. In 1961, Morris volunteered for the first of two tours in Vietnam. Promoted to Staff Sergeant, he rose to command a Special Forces Strike Force on missions throughout the country. Moving out on patrol on September 17, 1969, Morris and his men entered a village to an eerie quiet, not a soul to be seen, an old woman singing the only sound. Their suspicions were confirmed when gunfire broke out in the distance. Word soon came over the radio that the commander of a nearby company had been killed. Now under fire himself, Morris rallied his men, then broke off with two volunteers in a daring attempt to retrieve his fallen comrade. You don't leave a soldier behind, he later recalled thinking. Almost immediately, Morris and his men were spotted coming under an intense fire that hit both of his volunteers. Again, with the attitude that you don't leave a soldier behind, Morris assisted both men back to safety before resuming his assault alone. Grabbing as many grenades as he could carry, Melvin Morris charged toward the enemy position and a hail of bullets with only his small forces operating supporting force as cover. Under constant machine gun fire, Morris single-handedly destroyed position after position, knocking out four enemy bunkers. Finally, upon reaching the bunker nearest the fallen soldier, Morris repulsed the remaining enemy fighters, retrieved his comrade's body, and made his way toward safety. Still under fire, he was shot three times, but continued to struggle on until he reached friendly lines. You don't leave a soldier behind. The men who saw Melvin Morris's action that day knew they had witnessed extraordinary valor. He would be awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for his actions, along with the Purple Heart, and go on to serve another 22 years, retiring a sergeant first class. Still, it was not until March 18, 2014, that the valor and sacrifice of Melvin Morris was fully recognized. At a ceremony at the White House, following a special army review of soldiers whose valor may have been overlooked due to racial or ethnic backgrounds, President Obama presented Sergeant First Class Morris with our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Of the more than 6,500 cases reviewed, 24 were selected to receive the medal, with only three men still surviving. Yet, as the entire generation who served with honor in Vietnam, it is never too late to recognize their service and never too late to say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you Medal of Honor recipient, Sergeant First Class, Melvin Morris.